The Coast Guard was created as our custom build to enter into the Battle of the Kings competition, a custom build off between dealerships put on by Harley Davidson Motor Company. We wanted to build something for the modern upcoming generation of riders. We wanted to build something that was influenced by Southern California and the West Coast culture in the Harley Davidson community. We wanted to build something that was purpose built, something that could be used for all applications and riders. We had two goals, to win the Battle of the Kings competition and to build a bike that would appeal to what we feel like is the up and coming generation of riders. A segment of riders that are begging for a club style purpose built mid-sized cruiser. The Battle of the Kings competition is still ongoing. We want to thank everybody that voted for us online that helped us secure the People's Choice Award. Right now we've been named the race category champion and we're going to Milwaukee to go to the annual dealer meeting at the end of August. In Milwaukee we'll compete with the other two finalists in the dirt and the chop categories for the number one spot in the U.S. and be crowned the U.S. Battle of the Kings champion at which point the winner of that will go on to Milan, Italy to compete at the ICMA show for the Global Battle of the Kings championship. Hey guys, Keith here from Late Lost Harley Davidson, uh, leader of Team Coast Glide. We got our team here, Jamie, Steve, Matt Laylaw, and Isaiah, who's our uh, student uh, that helped us out on this build. Um, and we were awarded a uh, $2,000 Snap-on Tools gift certificate um, given by the motor company and Laylaws on behalf of Laylaws, uh, presenting this um, to Albert from um, MMI UTI, um, who was a representative that hooked us up with Isaiah. So um, good job, Isaiah. Thanks for your help, man. And uh, that's for you guys. All right, guys. Good job, man. Since our unveiling of the Coast Glide, we've received a lot of positive comments and phone calls, so we want to thank you all for that. But more importantly, this kind of reinforces what we thought all along, that this bike appeals to a very broad audience. We've decided to make the Coast Glide a signature line of motorcycle carried here exclusively at Laidlaw's Harley-Davidson. As a result, we decided to build the Coast Glide 2. This will represent the second bike in our numbered line of Coast Glide motorcycles. We plan on continuing to build these motorcycles as long as they're popular and there's a demand for them out there. If you're interested in a Coast Glide, please contact us. The original Coast Glide has now been spoken for, but the Coast Glide 2 is available and will be revealed to the public for the first time July 20th. All right, so let's jump into this bike and do a walk around on it. So first off, there's certain key features on the Coast Glide that are kind of non-negotiable where they're gonna be present on every Coast Glide. The first of those is the Russ Wernemont FXRT retro fairing. Kind of sets out the whole look of the bike. You've also got the inverted front end with dual disc brakes in the front with the 19 inch enforcer turning wheel on there with the wrap fender. You've also got the LED daymaker in the front as well. Seth did the paint on this bike. Once again, absolutely killed it. He knocked it out of the park on the paint here. We went with the SNS 2 into one pipe on this one, switched it up a little bit. The reason being is we want to try SNS, their performance is awesome and they have the only full exhaust system that's California legal. It has a catalytic converter in there, so the exhaust system is all legal. We went with the Tour Pack on this one, guys. We decided to go with the FXRD style on this bike with the Tour Pack. It's a chopped Tour Pack off of the, the Touring chassis bikes. We went with the Kraus bars once again, the T-Bar Kraus bar setup, and you've got the nod to the California Coast on the inside of the fairing there, once again done by set at aggressive designs you got a saddleman seat on here saddleman custom made this seat with blue stitching to match the paint on here as well and yeah they knocked it out of the park they also made us a little passenger backrest as well uh, Seth also painted a derby cover for us kind of a nod to the Coast Glide 2 with our Laidlaws script and everything on there all the powder coating on here was done by Andrews powder coating once again they have the best powder coating you can get, bar none. Their powder coating is amazing. And another key feature on our Coast Glides are the high visibility wheels. And we decided to go with the blue this time. Let me know guys, which one you like better, the Coast Glide 1 or the 2 and the coloring and everything. So here's a, again another shot of the Russ Warnamont fairing in the front, all painted up by Seth at Aggressive Designs. And turn signals and everything done by Alloy Art. So we got the front and rear turn signals on there done by Alloy Art. 
And yeah, we tried to do some highlights on the engine with the powder coating. We went to, with a little bit different Screaming Eagle air cleaner this time. It's a new style that just came out. It's another shot of the SNS pipe. We're really happy with the pipe and the performance it delivers. We went with the same stereo system, the kicker stereo system that's Bluetooth enabled. There's no wiring or clutter or anything like that. You just Bluetooth your phone to it and play your music off. Another perk that we're pretty stoked about that we're gonna be offering with each Coast Glide is a custom cut made by Espinoza's. We have a partnership with them now where they're gonna be making a custom vest for each Coast Glide that's gonna coincide with the color scheme and the stitching and the leather on the seat is gonna match the leather used on the top half of the vest. Another really cool aspect of this bike is the versatility. Take a look at the two Coast Glides without the saddlebags or tour pack. Wish us luck in Milwaukee. Thanks for watching, guys.